everyone. Oh, it's Saturday. First week back after Christmas. First week back at work. And I had a lie-in this morning, so that was really nice because it was a bit of a shock to the system to be waking up in time for work every day after having 10 days off at Christmas. So um, I thought I would start the weekend off nicely by making a YouTube video to show you my new pencil case. I bought this with some Amazon money that I was given as a gift card from one of my um, bosses at work. So um, it, I'll link below the Amazon link to it, but it's a 72 um, hole pencil case and it's very similar in some respects to the Kipling 100 pen pen case and um i will i'll maybe make a video on the comparison between the kipling and this one but i just wanted to show you what i've got in it so as you can see it's fat it's really really chunky and it does zip closed but i can't unzip it with one hand while i'm filming so i thought i'll leave it on zipped and um it has a handle it has two zips so that you can zip it around the top and the bottom and inside i'll do a quick overview it has a zippy case here which goes uh yeah all the way to the bottom of the height of the pencil case here and these two pockets they're quite loose i think they're designed for um i don't know something that is chunky so that it can be held in by the fabric because loose uh, sl slim things will definitely fall out maybe papers that kind of thing and i'm gonna have to put a pencil sharpener and a rubber and maybe a pencil in here and then it's got these grey sections that are very similar to the Kipling one where you've got all these grey pen loops or pencil loops. And so you've got three of these sections and they're supposed to take up to 72 pencils and it is specifically supposed to be for pencils. Um, I will show you quickly what's in my Kipling but... Um, the reason why I say it's specifically it's supposed to hold pencils is because the pencil loops are very relatively slim and the Amazon description says it's for pencils and there is a question on the Amazon UK um, page for this that says will it hold pens and then the answer is it's designed to hold pencils. So as you can see I have got some chunky pencils in here and actually I've got a really really fat pencil that is a lot fatter than an average pencil and it does hold that one in here but it does create some tightness of the pen loops next to it so I've had to leave a gap here to be able to allow them to have some space to spread out. It has one fixed um, pencil divider pen loop thingy section and then it has two that velcro on as you can see there's a big band of velcro the fluffy side there and then you've got the hooky side here and it velcros on but you've got to be careful the way you position them because it um does hinder them being able to um all fit in well and maybe it would cause them to unstick slightly and then not um be able to close up as well I have shoved this one inside the um, section at the bottom just so it all fits in better. Um, and I haven't put any here. And the reason that I haven't put any pencils there, even though these ones could fit in, is because when it closes up, oops, sorry, when it closes up, it does that. And can you imagine how fat it would be if it had another 12 pencils in it? So in order to get it to shut, you do have to manipulate it so that they all fit in and then 
hold this down and zip around with two hands. Um, so I was originally going to be using this instead of my Kipling. I don't know what I would have used my Kipling for. Maybe I would have just switched them out. In my Kipling, I have some St Stabilo and Stettler um, fine point pens, and they are practically the same thickness as pencils but maybe they are a bit fatter because th these pen loops in the Kipling do accommodate the um the pens better whereas these tight ones in the um other one that I can't remember the brand name of um don't accommodate them as well and I did notice that when I put the pens back in the Kipling that they were much easier to slide in but when I was um thinking about what I'm going to be using this for I did take out one of these um pencil loop leaves I will call them and put them in put it in the base of this one and it did make it very fat um so as you can see the Kipling is quite a slim profile whereas this one is so fat um, so I, I don't think I'm going to be putting any more pencils in it I think I'll just be replacing the pencils as I um, as they sort of die, as they get too small to use or as they break. And um, so I won't be using this section here. Um, so, quick overview of my pencils. Now, I'm no artist and I don't ever intend to do anything that would be able to be sold um, so I don't need professional um, pencils. However, I have watched a few videos on Prismacolors and Arteza pencils and I nearly bought some and then I said to myself, I'm not going to be using them for the purpose that they're designed for. I don't need to be spending lots of money and it's like £30 or something on some really good quality pencils that I probably will not really use. So I thought I'm just going to use the pencils that I've acquired over the years. Um, so the pencils that I've got are these double-ended ones, which were, I believe, from Paper Chase that my friend bought me for Christmas. So um, they are fine. I'm no artist. I'm no pencil enthusiast. I can't give you a recommendation or a review of them because I haven't been looking at them like um, the people who have enough knowledge to be able to compare pencils and review them um, do on their videos. Um, then I've got these Pentel ones that I think are for children. And I say that because obviously adults can use them, but watching a few videos on colouring pencils, I think there is a distinction between the ones that are designed for kiddies to use and the ones that are for adults slash people who want to use them more kind of seriously and then there's also the distinction between those two cheaper um, groups versus the professionals and I guess these are for children or adults who are just using them for fun um I put them in and then I've got this random one that doesn't fit in and I think that's from my set that I have up in my craft room that is from Aldi or Lidl's that I bought about 16 years ago that it does well but um i don't really use my colored pencils very often and i've decided to leave those ones up in the craft room for when i do need them in the craft room i'm lucky to have enough pencils that i don't need to actually bring many more down um or move them from room to room so i'm just gonna have, have these ones in my bedroom where i do my journaling and then i'll have my cheap Aldi or Lidl ones <laughs> not that these weren't cheap um, I'll keep them up in the craft room for when I need to use them but I have got very few red pencils actually I've only got this half of the double-ended pencil this single one that I think came from the set that's upstairs and then this half of the double-ended pencil so I guess I, I'll keep this one down here I may have to buy some more reds maybe some darker reds so I'll put them in um, colour order um, I do like to have things in sets and in order. So although I haven't kept them in um, like with like, as in all the pentels together and all the double-ended ones together, I have put them in colour order. But it's been quite difficult when you've got the um, double-ended ones that have got um, 
opposing colors that I have I can't put the green with the green and um, but yeah I've started with the white and then I've got white with the um, peach so I've then put the peach next to it and then I've gone to the yellows and the oranges because yellow is a contributing color to orange and then into the reds because orange sits in between your yellow and red and then I've got blues with this random mustardy color and then greens with this random brown and then pinks i don't have many pinks pink's my favorite color i might buy some more then purples and then i had some pencil space left at the end and i know i need to use the um real estate as they call it up well because i didn't want to have to use that last side of the pencil fly leaf because it would make my pencil case too chunky so i did shove my browns in there even though they don't really go with the green uh, with the purples and then here are my metallic pencils which I didn't put in colour order because I might do that but at the moment um, I feel like there's some that are so similar that I'm not even sure if they're duplicates these ones were from B&M in the UK and the brand that they have written on them is Hobby World um, I've only used them a couple of times I'm not sure how good they are and um, I do have some more metallic pencils at the back they're in a set from I think well a company called ebu my mum bought them for me for christmas i think she got them from tk maxx but as i said i'm not using this side of the pencil loop leaf so i decided to keep them in the box in the bottom here and use them when maybe when i've used a few of these up and then i've got this random gray and black pencil and the reason why this is in here and not in the loops is because i ran out of space next to the greys and blacks here and i think i might put this in my journaling bag just because it's um maybe it's a useful color for putting in my journal i don't really use greys and blacks a lot but maybe it's one of those colors that i will find a use for so at the moment i've shoved it in the bottom there um, so that's basically it oh i wanted to show you what i'm going to be using it for as i said i'm not a professional I'm not going to be doing proper art with them or anything. But the reason why I'm able to use these cheap um, pencils is because, as I said, I'm not doing art with them. Instead, I'm going to be colouring in some pictures that I printed off the internet. I basically just Google imaged some keywords. Um, this came under Art Nouveau. And it's. I think I'm going to use it as kind of like a, a book plate um there she is again in a smaller version and there's some um and there's some more art um nouveau pictures um there's my um beautiful black cat image that i absolutely love i've got a couple of tins with that on and i had a poster with that at uni and i love it so much um there's another art nouveau image there's some butterflies and another Oh, this one came under Art Deco, actually. It's upside down. And, oh, these ones are all upside down. Some um, umbrellas that I think look so pretty. But to be honest, I think I might cut the um, the umbrella handle off and maybe put a, a delicate, like, beautiful lady's leg with a nice boot on underneath because I feel like they look like the bottom of a dress. So, yeah, basically, I'm just going to be colouring these pictures in and sticking them in my journals. So that's what I'm going to be using my colourful, uh, coloured pencils and my pencil case for. So thanks for watching. Bye.